y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie. Today I am going to be doing a reveal book box unboxing as well as just a book haul in general. Before I get to that, I do need to bring up something kind of important to me. I am currently full on in grief. I am mourning the death of Audible Escapes. If you haven't heard, Audible Escapes is going to be discontinued as of November 1st and I am devastated. I found out last night about it and I can say wholeheartedly that I am going through the five stages of grief. Uh, first, I was in complete denial last night. I kept looking to see if it was a hoax or if it wasn't true. Of course it is true and now I am full on angry. I am so upset that they are discontinuing it for this new Audible Plus which is like a whole bunch of books that has nothing to do with romance. They're getting rid of like, they had like 10,000 books and now it's down to 800 or 900. And out of those 900, there's very little that I care to read. I'm just, I'm really angry and I'm really sad and frustrated about that. So if you all are mourning the death like I am, then uh, we can go ahead and commiserate with each other and talk about that in the comments below. I am really, really sad to see that this is going away. I can't believe they're doing this to us. So I just wanted to bring that up. But now that we are through talking about grief and the death of our favorite audible romance package, Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing, shall we? So I have this big old box and I went ahead and got another month's worth, four books, and I have not opened this. I have no clue what's in here. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what it looks like whenever you first open the package. And let's see what they got me. I still, I adore their packaging. I think it is just ridiculously cute. Look at this. I love their packaging so much. As always, they always give us little goodies and different swag and stuff that comes with it. Uh, they gave me organic tart blood orange tea leaves. They gave me a little nail file, Kristen Proby nail file, a pen and some more swag, a little doorknob thing. It says, my book boyfriend is whispering sweet nothings. Can you beat that? That's really cute. And then swooning in progress. Do not disturb unless you have chocolate. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Okay. I might have to put that on my door. All right. Now let's get to the fun stuff, which is the books. The first one is by Tana Finsky. And it's called Showtime. It says it's a Juniper Ridge romantic comedy. So it looks like this book is about an abandoned cult compound where they are going to be filming a TV show and it's gonna be some type of a reality TV show. It's a girl that's working behind the scenes and one of the guys who's in the show. So that sounds really cute. It's kind of a reality TV take. It sounds interesting. The next book they gave me is Seducing Cinderella. This is by Gina L. Maxwell. Okay, so this looks like it is going to be between a mixed martial arts fighter and a physical therapist. The physical therapist also happens to be his best friend's little sister. So this sounds like a little bit of a taboo, also kind of a sports romance. I'm so here for that. I want to read that one soon. This next book I have definitely heard about. I've been wanting to read it. I do not own any of these series, but this is something that I am so excited for. I cannot believe this was in here. It's Helen Hart's Follow Me Darkly. This is a billionaire romance with BDSM aspect to it. And all of these books are signed. I don't know if I mentioned that, but every one of them are signed by the author so I am so excited to have this one. Okay guys so I am kind of freaking out about this last book. I have heard of this author so many times but I've never read anything by her. It's Victoria Ashley. It's called Still You Away and this is a taboo book about a guy who is going to steal his brother's girlfriend from him. 
Apparently, this guy has stood by and watched his brother repeatedly screw over this girl over and over and over again, and he is tired of it, and so he goes and he works for her, and a relationship ensues. It sounds like it's also a tiny bit of hate to love in here. This sounds angsty and taboo and forbidden, and I cannot wait to read this one. Okay, so I am actually really, really pleased with these four books. Two of the authors I have heard of, two I haven't. Uh, this seems like a really great, different uh, book box that I am definitely going to keep. And yeah, I'm just, I'm very happy with the selections that I got this month. So now that I have got that one out of the way, I do want to kind of go over the books, the four books that I got last month. I know that I showed them to you in a previous video, but I never really talked about them. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. This is Treacherous by Alex Grayson and Melissa Topin. And this looks like it is going to be a high school senior bully romance. A girl moves in with her mother's new uh, husband and she has a stepbrother who apparently is kind of an asshole, but he has a best friend who hates her and bullies her. And I believe it's going to be like a bully hate to love relationship. So this sounds really cute. I don't, I'm kind of getting out of high school stuff, but I'm, it sounds interesting. So I'm definitely willing to give this one a shot. The next book that I got from last month's book box is Center of Gravity by K.K. Allen. This looks like it's going to be a dancer type of relationship. So it is going to be kind of sports centered. It's about a girl who is working her way up on becoming a dancer. And um, I guess she's in some kind of a Hollywood elite. So she's trying to get professional dance gigs. And this guy that she is having to dance with is somebody who can not only uh, dance with her, but is likely to break her heart. So this sounds pretty interesting. K.K. Allen is somebody that I have heard of, and uh, I'm curious to give this one a try. The next book that I got was Forever With Me by Kristen Proby. This is an author that I have heard of. However, I'm a little disappointed because it's book eight in the series, and I'm not, I, I'm somebody that I, I have a very hard time jumping into a book if it's in the middle of a series. I have to read them in order. So if I ever do read this one, I will end up reading all of the seven ones that come before it before I ever read this one. So I don't know how great of a choice this one was for me, but we can't win them all, right? The last book from last month's box is going to be Open House by T.C. Madsen. So this is a love triangle relationship and I have love-hate relationships with those. This is about a married woman who ends up having a relationship with her son's teacher. So that sounds interesting. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the next three books that I have to talk about are books that I purchased on thrift books. The first one is going to be Misadventures on the Night Shift with Lauren Rowe. I got this hardcover copy. I am going to be meeting Lauren in uh, June of next year, I think is when Book Bonanza happens. So I wanted to go ahead and get this one. Also, this is Bree's favorite book by Lauren Rowe, and I definitely love Bree's recommendations, so I went ahead and picked this one up. The next book I got is Say You Still Love Me. This is by K.A. Tucker. This I have already read and I really loved this one. It is about a girl who uh, meets the love of her life at a youth camp whenever she is 17 years old and then he disappears from her life for years and he ends up rushing back into her life whenever she's finally settled and has things kind of going for her and it is a second chance romance. I love this because I met my first love at youth camp and it just gave me all the feels. I totally fell in love with this book and so I had to pick it up. The last book that I got at Thrift Books I'm actually really disappointed with and I ended up um, contacting them about it because it was supposed to be in like new condition. I spent almost $11 on this which is almost full price and uh, it came in not great condition so they did give me my money back for it, but that is Rebel Heart by Penelope Ward and Vi Keelan. I don't know if you can see this so well in here, but this spine is cracked in about eight different places and it's completely uneven when you look at it. Like you can see the spine whenever you're just staring at it because it's completely crooked. Um, 
but it is definitely not in like new condition because of that and it's just yeah it's really quite frustrating but they did give me my money back for it and I am going to get a better copy because whenever I meet by Keelan whenever it is that I do meet her because I will meet her someday. I want to get every single book signed by her. The next book that I have to talk about is the book that I got in my monthly bookworm box subscription and I am so freaking excited about this cover and about this book. It is one that I have been wanting to read for a very long time and that is Violent Delights by Jessica Hawkins but look at their exclusive cover. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is a mafia romance signed by the author. It comes with a little note from the author and everything. You can only get this cover from the bookworm box. I believe they are still selling it individually if you want it, but I just adore this cover. I cannot wait to jump in. I've been wanting to read this for a very long time. I know Jess from Peace Love Books has talked about this book before, and I've been wanting to read it since I've heard about it from her. That was like three or four years ago, but I cannot wait to get into this one and read it soon. I'm saving the best for last, at least in my opinion. So the last two books that I have to talk about are going to be from Half Price Books. The first one is Kiss the Stars by A.L. Jackson. I uh, found this copy, went ahead and picked it up. I am a little sad that somebody, it looks like somebody may have had this book signed or something because Here's the first cover, but then it, the second page is, it's like they tore it out, like it was signed and they went ahead and tore that part of it out, which is really sad, but when I meet her, I'll just have her sign this first page. It is what it is. It was like $7, which is half price compared to what I would have spent if I bought it brand new, and I can deal with one page being ripped out. And the last book, guys, I cannot believe I found this. So, if you know anything about J.R. Ward books, then you know that her books, her early edition hardcover books on like the first four or five books are super rare. I spent $100 myself on a copy of um, her Dark Lover in hardcover, and that was two, three years ago. I can go on eBay and right now they're selling for $500. Uh, and, I myself spent a hundred dollars on it. Like I said, I, I bought it at half price books. It happened to be signed and it was signed by Jess herself, but it was actually like to a friend. And so she actually signed her real name and not J.R. Ward, which is crazy awesome. And like that alone is super like exciting to me. But I was shopping at half price books and I looked on their shelves and I found this. It is her super rare cover of both Dark Lover and Lover Eternal. This is in hardcover. I cannot believe it. My collection is complete. I have every single J.R. Ward book that there is to have in hardcover in hardcover now. Uh, I have obviously the first and the second editions in hardcover, a standalone by themselves, but I now have them both together in this cover and I got it for $15. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. That's it for me. I am super excited with this book haul. Uh, it's not as much as I normally get. I am trying to be better about buying books right now. I'm trying to read more on Kindle Unlimited and I was trying to read more on Audible Escapes, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, that is going away. Um, I'm kind of devastated and now I've got to figure out what to do because I listen to a lot of books on audiobook. So anyway, that is what's going on with me. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below. We will talk there.